Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well, and welcome back to War Thunder. This is the MiG-23 MLD. It's Russia's new top tier jet, and it's a team killing magnet. Box one. Don't tell me that's you. Don't tell me that's you. Yes, oh that's my me. fucking god, bro. <laughs> Like he would wait for someone to oh, like, mother take off. No, really? <laughs> you got Mirage, keep... really? <laughs> you're on the same keep... team, dude. You deserve it. You utter. For real, though. Talk about bad luck. Now, let's take a closer look at this thing. First off. It's expensive. It costs 400,000 RP to research, 1,080,000 silver lines to buy, another 310,000 silver lines to crew, and like most top tier jets in sim that are actually fun, it has a pretty hefty spawn cost of 27,000 silver lions. So good luck making a profit with it. So bank breaking and ruined economics aside, what do you get with the new MiG-23 MLD? For starters, it has an upgraded engine, being powered by a Tomansky R35-300, which is a lighter, more powerful version of the R29-300 used in the MiG-23M series. This gives the 23MLD an excellent power-to-weight ratio, but be careful with this. Like the MiG-23M, the MLD risks ripping its wings due to overspeed if you leave it on full burner for an extended period of time at low altitude. Now the MLD has roughly the same top speed as the 23M, but the big difference is in the rate of climb. 219 meters per second up from 169 meters per second when both aircraft are fully spaded. The MLD is also more maneuverable than the 23M, though it does sacrifice maximum sweep angle of its wings for better strength and adaptability. In terms of avionics, the MLD has an upgraded version of the Sapphire 23 radar system found on the MiG-23M. Though still inferior to many radars found on most NATO aircraft at this tier, it does have improved tracking and now comes with an air combat maneuvering mode, which allows the system to automatically lock onto whatever is in front of the aircraft in short range engagements. If the MLD comes under radar lock and missile attack, it can deploy far more countermeasures than the 23M, being equipped with dedicated flare and chaff pods that give it 72 uses, a significant upgrade from the MiG-23M's 12 uses. In terms of firepower, the MLD is quite similar to its predecessor. It has the powerful 23mm GSH cannon, and like the previous MiG-23, this cannon requires quite a bit of lead and can be tricky to aim compared to other guns at this tier. It has a wide variety of loadout options, making it well suited for multi-role operations, but this aircraft is best used in air combat scenarios. Like the MiG-23M, it has access to RS-3s, R-13M1s, R-60M and R-23T missiles, which can be combined with the IRST system for excellent infrared tracking of targets. The MLD can make use of its radar's ACM mode by employing the R-23R guided missiles. The MLD is able to carry most of these missiles in greater numbers compared to the MiG-23M as well, so that's another bonus. But that's not all. The MiG-23 MLD also gets access to the new R-24T and R-24R missiles. These missiles are faster, clocking in at Mark 3.5, they have an improved G-Force overload of 5Gs at launch and 24Gs during flight, not bad at all, and an improved tracking time of 45 seconds. The R-24T is particularly lethal in head-on engagements, being able to secure a lock as far away as 4.3 kilometers. So, what's the best way to play the MiG-23 MLD? Well, you should basically play it how you would the MiG-23M. This aircraft has very high low altitude top speed. Combine that with long range missiles and a very good IRST system and you have the perfect low altitude hunter. The superiority of enemy radar systems is another reason to keep near the deck. The R-24 missiles should only be used for medium and long range engagements. When the missile is first launched it takes a couple of moments for the tracking to engage making it a poor choice for fights below 2 kilometers distance. Save these longer ranged missiles for enemy aircraft that are flying high above you, tip your nose up, 
lock your target and fire. I will say that most of the time I have found the R60 to be the most useful. Now don't get me wrong, the R24s are amazing, but the MiG-23 will get more use out of the R60s thanks to its wing design. Having variable sweep wings, the MLD is excellent in the turns. For most one-on-one -on -one engagements, your best bet is to drag your enemy into a rate fight, drain their energy, and shove an R60 up their tail. This is especially effective against Phantoms, Lightnings, and F-104s. F-5s and Vigans are more tricky to deal with, thanks to their excellent maneuverability. The F-5 will give you more trouble at higher speeds, and the Vigan at lower speeds. In these sorts of fights, you will definitely want to try and lock your enemy using IRST, get them within 1.5km range, and use the R-60s for their superior maneuverability over the other missiles. All this being said, the MiG-23 MLD can perform well at high altitude as well, as its radar-guided R-24 missiles allow for BVR combat. But the meta in War Thunder Sim, especially top tier anyway, is really trending towards the low altitude fights. This is mostly due to map size, or rather, the lack of it. I'd say the two exceptions to the rule would be the Denmark and Dover Strait maps, as they are both relatively flat, large, have a lot of water, and thus don't provide much in the way of low altitude cover. Sadly, I've only managed to get one game in one of these maps, so my ability to comment further on this matter is rather limited. So, before we hop into the gameplay, let's compare the pros and cons of the MiG-23 MLD. It has excellent low altitude top speed, vastly improved climb rates, a plentiful number of countermeasures, it has a powerful array of air-to-air -air missiles, it has fantastic turn rates thanks to the variable sweep wings, and the radar's ACM mode makes radar-guided missiles more useful at closer ranges. However, the wings can still rip incredibly easily, especially at low altitude and high speed, the radar lock can often be unreliable, the guns are still difficult to lead due to the relatively low velocity of the ammunition, the MLD struggles to maintain energy in prolonged turns, and its powerful engine provides a lot of heat, meaning flares are not always going to be effective in saving you from IR missiles. With that out of the way, let's hop into the gameplay and you'll see how I fared with the MLD. Unfortunately, my luck with this aircraft has been horrible, and I mean really, really horrible. To the tune of being team killed nearly 14 times in one weekend, which got expensive very quickly. And as such, I'm only going to show you the highlights from a few different games that will show the MiG at its best, rather than the prolonged footage from a single game. So enjoy the show. Hello. He used both of his misses at me. So yes, the F5 has no misses. Got eyes on him. Oh man, that was... That's embarrassing. Hey, where'd he go? Yeah, I don't oh, know. there he is. Alright, uh, he's running away, I'm pretty sure, because he was low when I got the kill cam. Box 2. Oh fuck, I think that's friendly. Nope, it's not. That was an F-104. That is not the F-5. Cool. I, got, I know how to dogfight the F-5, it's just... I always run into one at the worst moment. I mean, you can outrate it, and you can also uh, energy fight it. Like, if you go like up, down, up, down, you get me? You can actually win a fight against it. I might have him here. Because. Are you popping chaff? Got him with the guns. Oh, I don't know, that's good. Whoa. Mm. I don't post on him. I'm not really active YouTuber. R24 T time. Please be a hostile. Where are you? Box two, I'm here. Roger. Yes. Let's go. 
A for you, bro. Bro, <laughs> I feel bad now. <laughs> <laughs> that's like that's like this killing a puppy. Good. That's like killing a puppy. This game's just like switching to our sixties. Do we have any F8? Oh, shit, that's do, do we have any F8s on this team? F8s? No. SU7s though. Oh, I apparently missed all of my shots. Well, are you going vertical? Are you going straight yeah, up? Yeah, I'm going vertical. I I see. I see the guy you were going. Looks pretty pretty funny. Box two. See that? Yeah. Ah, uh, there's another one. Yeah, there's... he's turning around toward. Yeah, I see him. What is that? I think that's friendly. I'm looking at. Unless I'm looking at the wrong plane. Oh wait, hang on. I've got it. I'm trying to lock it. Two kilometers away. Boxer. Is that a Yak 38? Oh, we're about to find out because I watched him. Okay, my that, that's a that's an AV8 or something. It was. Alright, that was overkill. That was overkill. <laughs> you could have just gunned them down. That's so. <laughs> I like using missiles. <laughs> Oh, is there something on A oh, then? There's a, there's a, I can see a Phantom FGR2. He's up altitude. Oh, is that him up high? Yeah, he's up high. Up yep, high, yep, yeah. yep, 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 yep. Going I full see. burner. I see him. I'm going to try and lock him. Got him locked 20 kilometers. Yeah, don't, don't shoot at that. <laughs> Wait, no, I'm locking the, I think I'm actually locking something else. Is oh, that him chaffing? He, yeah, he's chaffing. I've lost visual on him and the dot's gone. Oh, he's going to the left, I think. Is he going left? left? Down. Wait, what the fuck is this? Oh, I got eyes on him. I got eyes on him. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting locked from my ass, but... I'm just saying. Box yeah, two. we got someone on our six, bro. I'll take care of him. Yes! Got him. Alright, what's the thing on our six? Oh, 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 oh. Sorry to miss him at me. You, are you flaring? Uh, yeah, it's, it's a it's a fucking vegan. Wait, 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 I can't see you. Are you low? Yeah, uh, where, where we came from. I can't, yeah, I'm, I'm going. He's kind of higher. We're in a two circle. Oh my god, he's turning so fast. Dude. Oh, I don't see him, I don't see him. Uh, over here. Oh fuck, you're behind me. Alright, stand by. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Don't <Holy>. die! <laughs> I got you, boo! Holy. How do you say I got you, boo, in Russian? Forgive me, forgive me. Wait, you in the vertical? Yeah. Uh, he's going up now, he's above me. Oh, I'm, I, I'm I, have, I have eyes on the Dorito, I have eyes on the Dorito. I didn't know when the... Alright. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice, I got TK. <laughs> oh no, did he TK you? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, you, you see him, right? Gun him, gun him, gun him. I hit him. Oh my god. Don't fucking run me. What was that? Uh, my missile fire <laughs> for some reason. God damn it! It's tricky. Alright, he went to your right. He went to your right. Yeah, no, I've got, a, I've got a, I've got a, I've got a. Where do you go? Where do you go? Where do you go? Oh, oh fuck! He's nose on right above you. Alright, uh, he missed. He just got hit by something, or something broke off him. Flaps. His flaps. I broke. think he lost his flaps. Yeah. 
Are you turning away? He's down low. 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. Yeah. Box two. Get him. Oh. Oh, he went in. <laughs> he fucking got him. I got the kill for that. I must have, uh... Oh, I'm out of fuel. Let's see if you're a snack. Okay, two targets off our nose. Is one... Ah, oh, it's a friendly. Okay, note to self, the Vigans are on our team now. We need to fight the Americans, the British, and the Japanese. So, phantoms. Yeah. LOL. Speaking of phantom, hello. Big funny move. Did I crash by the way? Did it take? Hang on. Box two. I don't know if I'm going to catch that phantom or not. Oh, I might. No. Nah. Switching to R24Ts, going to IRST. Guns only situation. Oh my god, I can't if aim. Kill him, if you kill him, you're gonna hit 500,000 subscribers. Fuck's sake, I can't aim these guns. Let Stalin guide your shot. Oh, finally. Uh huh. That was my oh, last. You... That was my last round as well. I'm feeling I'm being watched. Why have they made the sun so freaking bright? I swear it wasn't like this yesterday. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, it's hostile. Box two. Yeah, uh, A4 Reale, thought so. Shame that I wasted an R24 hour on it, though. And it missed. The R60 was the one that finished the job. Yeah, 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 I met him from the... Oh fuck, I've got an A7 on my uh, 6. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Gaijin this way. Help! An A7D. Wait, wait, no, hang on. No, 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 no. I think that's either an F8 or a Phantom, actually. If it's an F8, you're dead. You're not okay in that. You don't. It's an F8, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm very dead. Stand by. Oh, I've got a friend coming in to help. Oh, that's scary. That isn't what I want to deal with right now. Ideal situation. Box two. Come on, R sixty, you can do it. Oh, ho, ho. oh, he's still going, he's still going. Because of course it's an F five. 
Let's see if the second R60 can finish you off. Yep, that, that got him. <laughs> hell yeah. F5's are tanky. Their damage model is broken as hell right now. Despite my bad luck, I really enjoyed the new MiG-23. It suits my style of flying. I like low altitude, high G, visual range combat, and the MLD with its R60s does that beautifully. It's definitely a formidable opponent for things like the Phantom, the F5, and the Vigan, and if you're a person that is enjoying the Russian jets in this game, I think you'll love this one. But that's it for today's review video. I hope you all enjoyed it, and as always, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll catch you all next time. Goodbye.